Christmas for Thursday's funeral. A man who died in police custody in Cheshire had been warned by doctors his cocaine habit could kill him. Jacob Michael was taken ill and died after being arrested at his home in Witness in August last year. Today an inquest was told that he spent the night before he died using cocaine taken from a bag the size of a tennis ball. Stuart Flinders reports. This is Jacob Michael, less than an hour before he died. He was in a police van after being arrested. Earlier, he dialed 999 after telling his father he'd been threatened with a gun. CCTV shows officers arriving at his home in Widnes. He refused to come out of his bedroom, apparently unwilling to believe they really were police officers. He eventually ran past them into the street. The pictures show officers using batons to restrain him. His mother, who was looking on, told the inquest at a hotel in Warrington today the police behaviour was wild and violent. Christine Michael said she spoke to her son as he lay in the street, handcuffed and wearing leg restraints, and she assured him that those holding him down really were police officers. He didn't believe her. Mrs Michael told the court about her son's drug habit. He'd been taken to hospital on a number of occasions, she said, after using cocaine. And she said she was aware that sometimes he'd take something that might make him panic. But she wasn't aware of a hospital record showing that he'd been warned that if he continued to take cocaine, he could have a heart attack and die. Later, the inquest was told that Mr Michael spent the night before he died drinking heavily and using cocaine taken from a bag the size of a tennis ball. CCTV images from the Norton Custody Office in Runcorn show Mr Michael lying on the floor, an officer standing on his leg, moments before he became ill and died. The inquest continues tomorrow. Stuart Flinders, BBC Northwest Tonight, Warrington. Some of the rest of the day's news from around the Northwest now, and the funeral has.